I met a man that had spent ten thousand dollars. Holy cow! Yes, on one woman over eight months. Mm -hmm. but, so letter mm -hmm. writing, would we agree that's the biggest scam in terms of the industry? Uh, my research shows it's over a billion dollars a year. Wow. The, the mail order bride, the marriage agency wow. industry in the Ukraine mm -hmm. and Russia. So the majority of it is made by letter writing. I believe so. Mm -hmm. That's what I was told mm -hmm. by uh, by uh, my girlfriend who worked in this industry. Right, right. And uh, she said it's the letter writers, letter writing. And even the emails, when you buy their information, the uh, email that you get, you purchase, uh, uh, is sent directly to the uh, agency. And the same woman will answer the emails. Mm -hmm. So you're, you're not actually getting her personal email part of the time, some of the time. I don't, it, it could be not, uh, there's a percentage that are genuine. Mm -hmm. uh, and you know, let's give some tips yeah. uh, as we go along. Sure. Yeah. So a tip that I have to, to make mm -hmm. sure, if, to see if it's, if it's really, mm -hmm. um, let's say, Olga that you're talking right. to, is look at the URL. If it's Olga at... Ukraine top models or some mm -hmm. URL and you go to the website and you can see it's really a bogus website <laughs> which is often the case yeah. you, you you can rest assured that it's it's a scam yeah. but it happens to be uh, you know uh, Olga at uh, Olga one two three or a year at gmail or at dot ru or yahoo chances are it, it might in, indeed be, be Olga yeah, depending so, on what sites you're at I agree and um, and if somebody's willing to bring or to uh, follow up the uh, header and stuff and do that yeah. they can learn pretty quick the uh, the other uh, thing let me just uh, yeah, go the ahead. other thing mm -hmm. is uh, ask for a Skype mm. conversation ask for their Viber mm -hmm. so you can connect on Viber everybody in the Ukraine pretty much is on Viber uh, not everybody but most it's it's the most commonly used uh, they don't use WhatsApp here. They use Viber. Viber very so common. Skype, Viber, ask for a cell phone number. If they tell you they don't have a cell phone, it's absolutely a lie. And uh, the Babushka in Siberia. Yeah, has a cell absolutely. Phone uh, everybody has at least one. Uh huh. I, and I they, they would be they would be caught, they would probably leave the house without any clothes on before they'd leave without yeah. their phone. Because in fact, most people have two. Yes. Mm -hmm. yeah. The uh, uh, other aspect of this uh, the email that I've encountered and and my girlfriend has told me, mm -hmm. is that they try very hard to redirect you back into letter writing, especially if, if you feel like the man has made a connection with this profile. Mm -hmm. So they will say something like, I, I can't uh, write because I, my, I don't have an, a translator, or I, I can't afford internet, I don't have Wi-Fi at my house, or uh, I can't go down to the internet cafe because I don't have time after work. Mm -hmm. And so let's just write letters back and forth. So they, the agency redirects you back into the letter writing. Yeah. But in fact, everybody has a computer. Maybe not a laptop, but they'll have an older desktop. Almost everybody. And if they don't, uh -huh. they've got a phone that has internet everywhere in the whole country. You've got Wi-Fi. Yeah. Yeah. So they can answer the letters, your email, right directly on their yeah, smartphone. They've got cheap um, smartphone yes, brands in yes. Russia. They're, they're not, they don't have uh, a lot of them iPhones or Samsungs, mm. uh, unless they have a bit of money, but there's cheap brands. Well, they so, all have smartphones. So they all can answer their emails. So most, I'd say 95% yeah. have yeah. smartphones. Okay. What other big scams are there from, <clears throat> let's say, the ladies that are maybe private practice? So there'd be, there'd be just uh, lady scammers out there, and then there's agencies. So the lady scammers, what are some typical scams that you've seen? Well, I have uh, had a number of them attempted on me, and I, honest to God, I, I fell for a few of them, so I've learned the hard way, too. Me, too. Uh, the, the send me money is a huge one, and it comes in all different forms, mm -hmm. whether it's... Uh, uh, send me money for a new telephone or I need a new computer because I, you know, they, they, anytime they ask for money, unless you have a relationship with them and know them already, mm -hmm. just beware. That's a really high risk operation. Uh, even, let me chime in. Yeah. Even if you know them already, I've been corresponding on Skype uh, yeah. with a girl and with a lady and, uh, all of a sudden her computer broke and you know you used to Skyping and you see their face and, and you have, and we were doing that for a month and she said, my computer broke. Uh, you know, can you send me money? Is it possible to buy a computer? And I wanted to continue talking to her. So you send a grand over, and that's a huge amount of money. That's Shoot. actually a year of income for the average Ukrainian. Yeah, Soviet. darn near. Yeah, uh -huh. you're right. Uh -huh. You're right. So it's so huge. a year of income they got. One whack. One whack. <laughs> so you can see what the motivation is for them to yeah. do it. 
and how many other guys is she Skyping to with the same scam? Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Uh, you know, you don't know until you've uh, actually done a face-to-face -face and have a relationship. When you have not met them yet, you don't know how many other men they're saying the same things to and they're working the same heart tugging on the same heartstrings. It's that's, an emotional thing when a guy gets involved like that. That's the worst. And I mean, it, it hurts. what are some of the ones we were talking off camera, some of the other heartstring ones? Send yeah. me money for? Yeah, I had uh, one that I thought I had built a relationship with. It's, uh, it sounded really great. I mean, you know, we hooked up, I thought. Well, uh, lo and behold, her mother had a car accident and was uh, in the hospital with emergency surgery and she needed X amount of dollars immediately so because the surgeon wanted to deposit up front before he would even begin the operation and she was on high support. I mean, it went on and man, I mean, it just was a, she, this thing, it was a really good script. I mean, it just tore my guts out reading this because it sounded so real and genuine. Right. And I honestly, I, I bit. I, 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 well, it was like, no, oh, but my humanity just rose yeah. up and I just wanted to help. And so I sent 300 or $400, whatever it was, mm -hmm. last letter I ever got from her. Right. Never How heard from her again. Have you been talking to her, corresponding uh, by letter? A couple of months. And letter, no Skype, no? No, just letters. Uh -huh. yeah. uh -huh. off, off of uh, agency. Off of an agency. Off agency. I was. We were. Yeah, was, the we girl were. Was from an agency. I, I originally met her on an agency, on an agency. and okay. eventually got her private information. And we continued the uh, con communication and sent pictures back and forth. Oh, so I she, mean, she, oh, it she was straight a, away from the agency. Broke well, the rules and gave you her personal contact. Well, information? I bought her personal contact information from you the agency. Well, that's how you usually do it. You end up buying it or paying enough money for the letters and stuff that you can get it. And then you have a one-to-one, -one, supposedly, mm -hmm. communication. Mm -hmm. And we sent letters back and forth, pictures. Uh, I mean, it was... So it seemed real to you. It was, it, the pictures were absolutely real. I mean, it showed her in a garden and everything else, going to church. So wholesome. I mean, it was so wholesome. And Such I just, a good girl. Oh, my her God. Her mama's in the hospital. What are you going to do? Well, You've got to send some money, help mama. What about child is sick? Oh, yes. Um... Uh, many different All ways. All kinds of the, things the, I've, I've heard uh, of, I haven't personally experienced. Things like I send money for, I, I need to work on my visa to come see you. Yes. Uh, send me money for a plane ticket. No, you would never want to do that. You'd, yeah. you'd buy the plane ticket before you'd yeah. ever send money. You, you basically don't want to send money for anything. Bottom line There's is... so many heart strength. Flowers. Uh, Flowers, um, you, through an agency, you can buy flowers and then there's all kinds of scams from anywhere from plastic flowers to real flowers and a photo and then they give the flowers back to the flower shop and the flower shop refunds uh, all the money except for a few grievna. And so you think they got the flowers and they charge you a hundred bucks for the flowers. Yeah. They're not yeah. cheap. I mean, but, you, you charge you a bouquet of roses, and they may charge you a hundred dollars U.S. for it. Mm -hmm. uh, but you can buy that bouquet of roses for uh, here. here in Ukraine, anywhere in any flower shop, for uh, ten dollars tops. Yeah. Yeah. You know, and uh, they make a ton of money on flowers and other gifts as well. Candy, yeah. they want to sell you boxes of candy to give to gifts. Well, I agree it takes a little bit of time for them to go and produce the product and stuff, but mm -hmm. uh, 10 to 20 times the, the cost mm -hmm. of, in Ukraine for what they charge you. Exactly. It's huge. Yeah. Huge amount of money there. There's, Same a, with, there's a lot of, in, 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 through yeah. agencies, when you come to Ukraine and meet the girl, there's a lot of, ups, a, a lot of um, well, how do you say, where they tag on the price. Lots of stuff. Lots of Introduction stuff. fees. Introduction fees. Interpreter, you pay 20 bucks an hour US for an interpreter. Now, I won't uh, bad mouth the interpreters that I have met. Most of them are very genuine, honest uh, people. Uh, I used one who was a young lady, and I particularly like her, uh, here in Sumi. And uh, she's a lawyer by trade and uh, works for a large company that has gone downhill and with the economy. And uh, she uh, hasn't been paid for like almost two months now. And uh, she works in the, the legal department, and she does interpreting on the side to make a few extra dollars. Mm -hmm. Well, the twenty dollars an hour that you pay the uh, interpreter is not the interpreter you're paying. The interpreter gets five dollars an hour, probably at the most, yeah. and the agency keeps the other fifteen dollars yeah. an hour. Which, which you know, that's it's, part of it. Fair enough. It's business. It's business. I don't. I never complain about that because yeah, that's yeah. me too. It's uh, you know, that's the cost of doing mar markups, business. Uh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Everybody yeah. has markups. Yeah. 
Uh, but it's the other things like um, you had a limo experience. Oh, yeah, yeah, terrible limo experience, you know. <laughs> and I, call, I said call a taxi. A taxi would have cost a uh, dollar and a half to take us to the restaurant each way, you know, uh, U.S., but they called their private taxi, who was the husband of the owner of the agency with mm -hmm. his Audi or whatever, which is nice, mm -hmm. and charged me, uh, I think, $60 U.S., to g take me back and forth instead of a buck and a half instead of yeah instead of a three dollar round trip it was a sixty dollar round trip which i didn't know until i got back yeah you know and so, that was, so that's not exactly uh fair it's business. not it's uh, you know and, and they don't tell you ahead of time yeah, yeah you have to ask a lot of questions things like that yeah. what about apartment uh apartments They'll rent you an apartment. They certainly will. And they'll charge double the, the apartment uh, rate. I've never fallen for agencies. that. So I'm, I think you're probably right. They're going to charge a surcharge on that. Uh, well, I've it's, just, a, it's double. Double, yeah. yeah, yeah. It's more uh, than a surcharge. I just haven't uh, been caught in that trap. But mm -hmm. yes, I've heard it many times. And, and in the industry, do, have you seen such agencies that no. legitimately are looking to make money matching a man and a woman? No. 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 No, they don't care. Uh, it's a byproduct. It's an unfortunate byproduct for, I think, in the industry. It's that, that once in a blue once blue in a blue. while, somebody will get married, and they make a big issue out of it. Uh -huh. I mean, you'll see them plaster pictures, but there'll be one or two or three, maybe at the most, and then they'll have a stable of uh, two two thousand women, and maybe they have a marriage and make a big issue out of it. But it's a tragic uh, byproduct for them because it it ends their cash flow. Hey, it's Joe here. How are you doing? Listen, I wanted to talk to you openly and personally for a moment here. Maybe you're like I was, divorced two times and just really um, distraught and given up on ever finding your other half, a soulmate, your best friend, somebody that's amazing, smart, sexy, talented, educated woman that will rock your world in more ways than you can imagine. I've found that and I wish you to find that. I fervently believe the best women, the best wives are in the Ukraine here. I wish you all the best in your personal journey to find and marry the most incredible, amazing Ukrainian wife you could possibly imagine.